It seems that Anna, a.k.a. Glitter and Lasers, may have got herself into a little bit of controversy with her recent holiday collaboration with a company by the name of Jollidays. And she released some sweaters and pajamas and a variety of holiday-esque gear and clothing, if you may, uh, this year. And so the sweaters came out and I guess there's been some thoughts that maybe they aren't really designed for a plus size person or the sizing isn't very inclusive. And so Anna is going to put this to rest, everybody, okay? So she is going to make sure that we are going to uh, find out a little bit about <laughs> How, no, you know, the sweaters, obviously different bodies mean that they, you know, they're going to look different and she's going to show that to us. So she's going to have all these different models who are going to show us these different sweaters and she's going to explain it because, uh, you know, obviously people think that uh, the sweaters are that, you know, th th there's mixed reviews. Let's put it that way. And for something costing $39.99, you better hope you like what you're buying. So, uh, yeah, so I understand you can get these sweaters at Walmart, you can buy them at Amazon, all these good places. Anyway, um, I did want to let's get um, this going. I did. I did. So she's got her products. And I did want to thank uh, the company today of this beautiful bracelet that I'm wearing today, the tennis bracelet from Read Your Heart, who's having a massive Black Friday sale at the moment. But I'll tell you a little bit more about this, this beautiful bracelet and how you can save him more money and get a little bit of sparkle to your Christmas in just a second. But we're going to take a look at, uh, obviously, Anna. And uh, I think I'll make myself uh, a little bit smaller. Um, and then when I tell you about this pretty bracelet, I'll make myself a little bit bigger. All right, guys. Let's take a look at Anna. Oh, and I have my Anna hair today. <laughs> I, in, in honor of Anna, I styled my hair. Uh, I wasn't going to do the uh, repetition of her eye makeup. Sorry, guys. So as you all know, a couple weeks ago, I launched a clothing line in partnership with Jollibee's. This is actually a set from that collection. So in watching some of the feedback from that video, I felt like there were some things that I needed to address and potentially even learn from. So I'm taking the time today to tell you guys what we've done um, to help make this the best line we can make now and then also to make even better items in the future fingers crossed assuming we get to keep making amazing clothing now before we get into what i've learned so far and the changes we've made i wanted to let you guys know that at the end of this video there's a little surprise so stay tuned for that so first and foremost we heard a lot about international shipping good job see Anne is a pro she got that hook to keep you guys watching till the end so um <laughs> I wish I had a surprise to give you guys at the end. Uh, let's say I do. <laughs> let's say my surprise is the surprise that Anna's going to give. <laughs> All right, Anna, keep going. And I am pleased to announce that when shopping from the Jolly Days website, you can actually get items shipped internationally. Looking at the cost for shipping, it's less than I've seen at other retailers, and it's pretty standard in what you would expect in shipping from the U.S. Second thing we heard a lot about is the length of the sweaters, feeling like they were potentially too short. I actually took a lot of time to think about this because I am a very tall person, and I have a long torso, and I have long legs, and I think sometimes that alters how things look. I also think that we're in a world where most things offered for plus size women are tunic length. First and foremost, I want to let you guys know that I deliberately did not design tunics because I personally feel like that is saturated. I feel like there's so many options to buy a tunic sweater for plus size that I didn't want to add to something that I thought was readily available. So that was a choice. And I want you guys to know that I deliberately made that choice. That said, I am also very tall. So one of the things I wanted to see is these sweaters on. I guess I would also be considered tall because I'm, you know, pretty much like sitting just right at like five, nine. So I think I would be considered tall. 
but I must admit, not a fan of sweaters that crop to the top of anything. For me personally, I have to say I like my things a little bit longer. And uh, so maybe I'm a fan of the tunic length. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, before uh, we get any further, I do want to make sure that I do point out this absolutely gorgeous sparkling bracelet that I am wearing today and make sure that I, you know, show the affiliate um, that sent me this bracelet because just like, unlike Anna, okay, just like Anna, <laughs> I wish, unlike Anna, obviously I'm not in a place where I'm creating merchandise with a company and selling it on Amazon and through Walmart. That's obviously not where I am. But I do have companies that reach out to me and ask me to share my review of a product and to share it with my audience. And with this one, you actually do get a discount, 15% off if you use the code VIBE15. And I'm going to have all the links in my description box down below so that you can check out the company read your heart. It's funny, I got my hair cut today. And one of the things that the young lady said that her husband purchased was a engagement ring with a substitute diamond. And this is what the uh, Moissanite diamonds are for read your heart. So they are all eco-friendly. They're all non-toxic. These are not obviously mined diamonds, so you don't have to worry about potentially the ethics behind it. They have the same fire and hardness as diamonds. I mean, this thing is just, just so pretty. I have to try to show up real close. And I have been wearing it today, and uh, I just, I'm, I'm just, I know they've made a comeback, the tennis bracelets. So if you really want to take advantage, they have a huge... This is their biggest sale of the year, 50% off site-wide. And they also um, have, like I said, use the code VIBE15. I think you get an extra 50, oh, hit my mic, uh, <laughs> an extra 15 off on that when you use my code. So make sure you use my links down in the description box below. Let them know you. I sent you there. And I always really appreciate it because, you know, um, just like Anna, any type of person, like we do stuff like this. We obviously, and I, I'm kind of sitting in the dark because I really want to make sure um, that, and I'm probably messing with my light over here a little bit too much, um, that you guys can kind of see, and I'm sorry, I'm changing, I'm, I'm shifting around and I'm messing with my light. So I do apologize. I'm not as professional as Anna, but just so you can see how pretty and sparkly that is. So thank you, Regia Holt. Thank you for sharing that. You're going to see me wear it. I've been wearing it all day. And uh, it's sterling silver. Um, this is what's known as the Moissanite. So, yeah, have every type of jewelry you can imagine. The engagement rings, the wedding rings, uh, the earrings, necklaces, obviously bracelets. Check out the tennis bracelets if you really want to have some, obviously, that sort of what they call the uh, is it quiet quiet chic or whatever they call that one. <laughs> Is that what they call it? Quiet chic, something like that. Quiet, classic, quiet money, something, something that's quiet and classy. Well, that's what you're going to find at Read Your Heart. So thousands. I mean, I was almost like, luckily I kind of know what I wanted. So I was able to hone in really quick. But if you were just looking to look for jewelry, you would be just amazed at the number of things they have. Anyway, let me get back to Anna and her sweater. Let me get back to being small. So like I said, guys, in my description box. And yes, I do make a commission on affiliates, okay? Just like Anna does. <laughs> All right. That's the other thing we do have in common. All right, Anna, keep going. Other bodies. So I could see like, hey, do we need to add some length? So we did get together a group of girls, which you're going to see here in just a little bit. Adults They're going to introduce the themselves and then we're going to show those sweaters on those bodies to get a better idea of how these fit. 
I walked away from this personally believing that this was the right length. And just to give you an idea of how we got to this length is we did look at what typically sells in stores. We did look at what was available in larger sizes versus what wasn't. And we kind of decided. I mean, Anna has always been a fan of a more cropped top. I mean, she really has. She has always been a fan of the cropped shorter top. I mean, she's worn some shorter tops that I would be horrified to wear. I don't even know, you know, especially at this age. So I really don't want any part of my, you know, I don't feel like I would have to wear something underneath the sweater, like a, uh, a sort of, you know, some type of vest, sort of singlet type thing in order to tuck that in and make sure that's long so I couldn't flash anything. Definitely would have to be wearing a shirt under that sweater. And on the link was there. Like, that said, if you I see this it. video and you still feel like this is not the right length, I still want to hear it because I still want to learn and grow. Um, that is part of this journey. <laughs> to be very honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning. I'm learning and growing through this process. And the only way I'm going to get better is if you guys continue to. I mean, I'm glad she's out here taking the criticism in some ways. Will she, but is she really? <laughs> I mean, she's kind of. So her audience is responding to her and her answer is, well, this is what I like. This is, I thought about it. This is what I wanted to do. I'm not really concerned about what potentially could sell. I'm more concerned about what I like. So, but I, she says she did her research. So, but I know crop tops are very popular at the moment, but I don't know whether or not her specific audience of you know people that you know are purchasing clothing or or a fan of that style because from what i could read in her comment section no they're not that they, they, they don't like the short top that's that's what your comment section said anna so they're still reiterating that despite this video okay give me feedback so i'm totally cool with it and i feel like it's why I why I started all of this was to create things that I felt people would love. So without further ado, we're going to jump into seeing those items on the different bodies. And I'll have each of the girls introduce themselves. What's really interesting is they are all people who follow me online. I just did a model call of my fans. So these are real people wearing their clothing. These are not professionals. So um, all I ask in the comments is to be kind to these girls because they are showing up and providing you know, their bodies as a way for you to see this clothing in a different way. And they deserve respect. You want to come for me? Go for me. I don't care. So basically what Anna is saying, and I can completely understand, is that if you're going to leave some heinous comments in her comment section, you know, at least be respectful to people who are not generally out here trying to put themselves on social media, but are, you know, fans of hers and, her, you know, having this opportunity. So that, you know, I, I can agree with Anna on that one. There's a lot of bullying that happens online, um, especially towards women. It's pretty aggressive, especially when it comes to what people assume is the weakness in women, which is their looks. So that's the thing that people will attack people for. So, you know, rather than just critiquing the, the clothing. Anna does like a tight outfit, though. I have to say the tightness that Anna wears I would not push for certain things I must wear. I would wear one item that's tight and then potentially the other item loose. I don't wouldn't do both tight. That would be a little much for me. Yeah. Please don't comfort these girls. Please be kind to them. Please understand how it would feel if you did something brave and somebody said something mean to you. That's all I'm going to say because I think they're lovely and adorable and super cute and I can't wait for you to see them. So with that, let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Mallory. So, yeah, it's not against the person wearing the clothing. Let's just talk about the clothing, shall we? Okay, this is where we actually get to talk about the clothes. Okay. I like llamas. And, I, and I'm and i a fan of purple. I'm not a fan of a Christmas sweater, you know, unless it's specifically for a party. So I'm guessing this is going, but I mean, is she going for cute? Because I wouldn't say it's... Or is it supposed to be for an ugly sweater? Because I wouldn't have cute llamas to be on an ugly sweater. I'm not sure. I mean, that's not a terrible length on her. 
I mean, it's a cute look. Let's see you. Also known as now the model from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. And we love a little oh. love. Over the holidays, I enjoy boxing and gift wrapping with my family. Hi, I'm Taryn Bliss. And I love my little cardigan. These are my favorite colors. This is perfect for me. See, I don't like that she doesn't have anything under the sweater. I would feel that that would be very itchy to on the skin. I, I, again, no, that, I feel like this needs something underneath. I don't, it's, I'm not a fan, I guess, because my neck is aging, which I have a solution for, I hope. Um, I, I don't really like, a, a, I'm not a fan of the V-neck sweater. I have to say. I, it's, it's, it's never, I mean, I have, have some, but no, I no, no, but that's not a terrible length on her, actually. I would say actually that's a good length on her, you know, and it's a cute for a party, obviously. I mean it's a it's a Christmas sweater. I'm just personally not a fan of the V. That's all. But that's actually that I would say is actually probably a good length on her. Anything else would be probably not flattering. And that's not too short on her, and it's not too long. So actually, I would say, I would agree with Hannah, that actually on this young lady, I think it's a flattering length. I live in Seguin, Texas, and my favorite thing about the holidays is driving around at night and seeing all the beautiful Christmas lights. Hi, Shelby Reeves. I am wearing a super cute cardigan with Frosty the Snowman. It has some glitter and pink, my favorite color. My now, were there a different number of buttons between the two? I feel like there were. Did the other girls have three buttons? Now, I feel like this doesn't fit this other girl. This, this is a little too loose on her. A little too loose. Length's not terrible. A little loose. A little loose. A little boxy for this young lady. A little too boxy. Again, I'm not. I See, I can't get over showing this much decollage on a cold winter's day in a sweater. I want to keep my chest up, the warm up here. So I'm not, like I said, I just, I'm at an age now where I don't want to show all that. I'd have to put a turtleneck under there. Favorite holiday moment. Every Whatever. year I collect the holiday Barbie from Hallmark and Aww. I get to put it on my six foot hot pink Christmas tree. Aww. Hey, my name is Bella. Um, I have this beautiful cat santa claus cardigan now, on. don't convince me on that one i have in my thumbnail anna in that sweater so you can compare no i i sorry cat people probably come for me but no i'm not a fan of the santa cat <laughs> why has he got glasses <laughs> oh no and it's just i and what i don't particularly understand about this sweater now it would win an ugly sweater contest potentially this one is how is the santa matching with christmas lights like that i mean it just seems very even though i know it's christmas it just seems like and i have my santa too just to just, you know just i don't think he's a fan of the santa cat either uh and see he has no glosses the white santa cat got glosses i don't understand I mean, that's not a terrible length on that girl. And I actually think that one fits her well. Um, I just, I th I'm not a fan of the Christmas lights in conjunction with the Santa cat. <laughs> and again, why have we got all these deep V-neck sweaters? Not a fan. I, is that what the style is? God, I hope not. Yes. Because then I have to find something to wear underneath it. <laughs> then I feel like something from a... From a, a from last Christmas. <laughs> I'm with the ornaments over here. And it's super colorful and I love it. Um, and my favorite thing about the holidays is creating my own tradition with my family and just having fun and enjoying the time off. So we, here we can see the sweaters on four different bodies. We're starting with a size small on Shelby. Our medium is on Bella. Our size XL is on Mal. And then we have. Okay. 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 So. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, these women all being very brave because, you know, they are having to stand here with Anna shouting out their sizes. And from what I understand in the comments, Anna does not disclose her size. 
Just these ladies have their sizes disclosed. I, and you're flashing these too quickly. I'm trying to see the sweaters, though I know there's a much longer video. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I they don't look terribly short. So I, I felt that they're not, but they just look short of Anna. <laughs> Maybe these ladies are not as tall as Anna. Anna's got that long torso, everybody. We have our two X on Taryn. And each of these girls has a different body, so you can kind of get an idea of how the sweater might fit for you and your shape. They also all have different sized and length torsos, so that also affects where the sweater hits. I particularly have... I don't know. I still don't know. I still feel like, I don't know. I want it still slightly lower. Like more, you know, skirting the top of the, you know, buttock area. Can I say that? That's what I would rather have. I, I it just, just, I know it's not sexy. We have both a long torso and long legs, so it tends to be a little bit shorter on me. I think a great example of someone with a shorter torso is Taryn, and someone with a longer torso would potentially be Mal. Now we're going to take a look at the same thing on the cardigans. So again, we're going to have Shelby in the small, Bella. Uh oh, so hold on. I need to go back on this lineup. Hold on. Let's go back to the lineup. Hold on. Hold on. Right here. Sorry. Because I just see Anna, it looks very short on her. It does. But it looks a little short on this young lady, too. I'm not a fan of the cats. <laughs> Sorry. Just not. Why we got two cat sweaters on either end? In the deep V. Not in the buttons. Why? Why? Anyway. Why not just a. Anyway, we're going to take a look at the same thing on the cardigans. So, again, we're going to have Shelby in the small, Bella in the cardigans? medium, Mallory in the XL, and Taryn in the 2X. I guess that my question is, why don't we have jumpers? Oh, we did have jumpers. Okay, sorry. And you get to see where this cardigan hits on their bodies, keeping in mind that everybody does have a different length torso and a different height, and they all have different body shapes. The one thing I am noticing is we're not doing the classic check that we all know you're supposed to do if you really check it. It's like doing the arm lift. They're all very, you know, not lifting their arms up very much. Anna lifts her arms up, which is probably why it rises on her. None of these young ladies have seemed to be very um, confident in raising their arms while they're dancing. It, and I think because they know it's going to flash everything. So, anyway, that's just my opinion. Oh, one did. Oh, oh, she did, finally. Okay, finally, finally, finally we had one. This young lady, which is the one I said that had, the, it looked fairly, she actually confidently raised her arms. So, we need to go back and see how it, how high it went. Okay, we're going back to this nice young lady. Well, it seems to have, you know, people are questioning, you know, where these clothes have been produced and the, you know, the labor conditions of the workers. And I think that those are fair questions. Okay. All right, hold on. Okay. So I, I and I'm not trying to do anything other than to see how, how it raises or, or rises up on her. So, I mean, it's still, at least on this young lady, it's still, you know, not, this is, but maybe they asked her to because she was the only one that, because she said she had the, you know, the shortest torso that it didn't, you know, show everything with her skin because people have that concern in her comment section. They don't feel confident. I understand. Not fancy, you know. So now you've seen the sweater on a whole different. bunch of different body types, and hopefully that helps you make a more informed decision about whether it's right for you or not. Again, no, it would have been good to see on somebody tall and maybe not, you know, and thin, just to kind of give a comparison. Was it going to sit short on this person too? 
So is it really a height thing and a torso thing and, and rather than a size thing? I mean, it's still sizes, but you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't think I'm making sense. And I still want to hear your feedback and I still want to learn and grow with you. So thank you for taking the time to tell me when you had reactions to them. And also thank you for just giving me space in your day. I really, really appreciate it. I wanted to end this video. You think she's this kind of like polite and she, I feel that this is very scripted, the respect that Anna's always very um, conscientious of being very inclusive of everybody, which I, somebody who's trained to work in mental health, I, I can appreciate that. So thank you, Anna, for that. I, I understand, but you know, it could be just a, an Anna ploy. Who knows? She obviously, she's a very good salesperson. And on the most part, she tries to maintain her image. And especially with something where she's doing a collaboration. And recently, she just had a collaboration with YouTube. So that was interesting, where she was showing how you could, you know, make the most of your YouTube shop. So with some exciting news, we just found out that the items will be available to for purchase on both Amazon and Walmart.com, which is really kind of just like a step we were working towards and we got there. So that's what I'm celebrating today. Links to everything are down below. As per usual, we will be linking everything. And we did not actually do the sets because there was not a lot of feedback versus the length, but we do have some really cute loungewear sets, including this one and others you might have seen in other content. So we're going to go ahead and link those down below as well. With that, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'm going to go take a nap because I'm actually really tired. And you know what? I'm in the perfect outfit to do it. <laughs> so I'll check you later, guys. All right, Anna, just make sure you get that makeup off, girl, okay? Just get the makeup off. You got a lot of makeup on. So before you get that nap, just, you know, take take care of your skin. Okay. That's my, my recommendation. All right, guys. Oh, thanks for stopping by. If you do want to see uh, more Anna's uh, fashion hauls, let me know. All right. And just like I said, make sure you check out my affiliate, Read Your Heart. They have their biggest sale going on this weekend, Black Friday. It's the best time of year to go shopping. It's gifts that you can start getting for people, gifts you can get for yourself too, something that you can wear to sparkle over the holiday season. And like I said, if you use the code VIBE15, you get 15% off and they're 50% off site-wide at the moment. The links to their site are in my description box below. So thank you so much. Check them out. It's got some really nice stuff. This, like I said, is sterling silver. It's a, I think a 0.1 carat, the moissanite as it's pronounced, uh, diamonds, they are substitute diamonds. So they are a little bit more eco-friendly and they are all non-toxic and I am loving this bracelet. So thank you so much. Read your heart. All right, guys, can't wait for the holiday season. Get your ugly sweaters out and let's get going. All right. We'll check you on the next one. Bye.